Welcome everybody. And uh, in this little lesson, I want to show you guys how to download the software. And that's uh, really the most important thing that you can do right now because you can't complete the class unless you got the software. So uh, this video is going to be a generic one because I teach several different classes. I'll teach, you know, AutoCAD in one class, Revit, Inventor, Fusion, go right on down the list of the different classes I'm going to teach. And, uh, and all of those softwares work the same way. And the first thing we've got to do to be able to access those softwares, whichever one, whatever class you're in, whatever I'm telling you to use, they all download the same way. You've got to first make yourself an account with Autodesk. And make sure in this class as well that, uh, that you use a PC. Now, they do have softwares for Mac on here, but there is a little difference sometimes in the software, the layout of it. All the commands are there. It's just the layout. And where you're just starting with the software, it might confuse you. So I want you to stay on the same uh, program layout that I'm on so you don't get confused. And there's nothing against the Mac. It's just uh, I've just got PCs in the class, and that's what I want to use. And also... Um, if you do not, if you don't have a computer that has the ability to run the software, just let me know because you're more than welcome to come to my lab Monday through Thursday from 8.30 to 3.30 and use my computers if you don't have access. I also have a computer in the library of the Mayo campus that is designated for CAD software. So if you need to use those computers, let me know or actually just come on in to, uh, to my lab and go on into the library. But if you don't have the ability to make it to the campus on the Mayo campus on, in Paintsville, Kentucky, then you can always just contact me. <clears throat> and the school sometimes has extra computers that they will loan out. So that's just something if you need that something's wrong with your computer or it just doesn't work, it doesn't allow you to use the software, it just doesn't have the capacity to do it, let me know. Don't get yourself behind. Right now is the time to get this done, okay? <clears throat> so let me show you how to get started. This is, uh, go to www.autodesk.com. This is where the majority of the software we're going to use is located at. And in here... To get started, you just slide down. This is the easiest route. Uh, slide all the way down to the bottom here, and you're going to see students and educators. Just click right there. And whenever you get in here, uh, we'll kind of scroll down a little bit, and I'm going to hit Get Products right here. You all see that? It's probably the easiest way to do this. Now, when you get here, you can see all these softwares that, and and again, like I said, um, this is just uh, a little lesson that's going to cover a multitude of classes that I'm teaching. But if you're wanting to use Fusion 360 right here, if you want to use Tinkercad, AutoCAD, Inventor, I mean, everything is in here. Civil 3D, I mean, it's all here to download, and it all downloads the same way. You just got to set up your student account, okay? So we're gonna do that right now. And I'll show you how that's done. There's Revit, I was looking for Revit, all right. So now, all you have to do is um, not a student or an educator and it, you know, it shows you free trials and all that. We want to get our student account. So I hit get started here and educational role. You'll be a student and go ahead and put in your birthday, whatever it is. I'm just going to throw one out there. You know, I don't know if it's, I'm just randomly throwing some numbers out there. And then notice it wants your first name, your last name, your email. Use your school email. 
confirm that email and get yourself a password okay so go in there and do all this and then create your account now there's going to be a lot more things that's going to be asked of you once you get in here once you get this thing rolling okay um but it's just pretty much self-explanatory and it will come to a point where it's going to ask you for proof that you are a student. Now, when it does that, uh, they say that you can submit a letter from the college and they'll accept it. But I found out it takes a few days for that to go through. If it does, you're better off to get a picture of your schedule. You know, just go online and get your schedule and take a picture of that and it shows exactly those classes that you're taking with us here at Big Sandy because Big Sandy Community Technical College is going to be your college that you're going to put down so make sure that you do that and make sure that whenever it comes up when it wants to do that confirmation that you're able to go in there and confirm with that schedule sheet a picture of it and then soon usually as soon as you submit that it's just like within a minute or two they give you access to the software and you get that free student account okay so i want to show you another thing here i'm just going to go ahead and uh, with that said i want to go ahead and just log in myself okay and i want to show you what it looks like after you get your account set up I remember my password. Oh, come on. Third time's a charm? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Now, if you'll notice down through here, um, you know, I've got all these softwares to choose from. And like, you know, if I was wanting to do Revit, just get product. And up here, I can get the software. And just for our cases in here, I would use the 2022, uh, 2023 just came out. I'm just going to let it have enough time to get the bugs out of it, which it's anymore in this day and time, it's rare, but back in days past, uh, sometimes when you got the brand new stuff, seemed like, uh, there were some issues at the beginning with them, but now it's not as much, but use the 2022 and I think we'll be just fine. But it just depends on what software that I tell you to use in the class. You go down there and grab it and just install it. And it takes, you know, it's going to take a little while for it to download and then to for it to uh, uh, be put on your computers. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to show you something else. This is a way that you can get to it. But you can also go over here and click on your profile here, Products and Services. And I can go in here and I can go to all products and services and you all see here I can install my software. This is another way to install it, okay? And I can go in here and install from this screen as well, okay? So either way you want to do it, it, it works fine. Just make sure that you make this a priority the first as soon as you see this, get your computer and start downloading this and try to get your account set up. And in that, if you have any problems whatsoever, you need to contact me quickly so that we can sit down and we'll set up a live meeting and I can help you to get this loaded in. Okay? Again, if you need my help, uh, just contact me and uh, we'll get this set up for you and we'll get, uh, get you to the point where you're ready to start the class.